Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's D.A.B., the one and only, and welcome back to the Final Fantasy LP. Okay guys, I made my way over here. I'm at the Castle of Ordeals. Everybody's powered up and ready to go. Now, to come here. You don't have to talk to Bahamut first, but you need the canoe? Uh, I don't think you need the airship to get here, but you need it to talk to Bahamut. But, you know, you can come here right after you get the canoe. And you have to have beaten the Marsh Cave. You need the crown. I'm like just dreading this. I'm like, please tell me I can do this. This guy's just waiting. Possession of the crown is required to test your courage. Take it to the royal throne. And bring back proof of your courage. Good luck. Spooky. Okay, guys. Let's do the dang thing. Okay. There's encounters in here. And there's a trick to these. I believe it's you have to do the southernmost pillars. I believe it's that. We're gonna find out right now. It's either the northern or the southern one, so let's... Can handle a zombie. We can handle a zombie, no problem. Especially we go first. Oh yeah, beat him up. Break his neck. Not great. This should kill him. No? Doug, can you go before the zombie? Yes! He's dead. Oh, we're gonna get a level up now, too. And hey, since everybody's at full, we'll know how many hit points and everything they got. I wanted to save it until after this. There was no avoiding. We only had, like, 40 experience. A lot of money, too. Pretty decent amount of hit points. Strength is up. Agility's up. Do I get more vitality? Intelligence doesn't really matter. Luck. No vitality. That's okay. Sid. A good jump in his hit points. That's something we needed. I wish his strength would have gone up, but that's okay. Hector. Weak. But he gets a point of strength for all that, you know, bashing he's going to be doing with his hammer. And Axel. Three hit points. That's okay. Our meat shield's almost sitting at 400 hit points. Okay, is it the southern one? Yes. Okay. Now we know. Don't loop around. I don't want to test the fates on random encounters in this place. Because I'm pretty sure there's cockatrices in here, too, and I only have the two softs. Okay, I don't know what they're weak to. I think they spit fire, too. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna hope we can just kill them in one blow. Red Gargoyle? Okay, cool. They're not as tough as I thought. That one up top is gonna die. Yes, okay, it's dead. How about you? Okay, you're not weak to ice. We know this now. That's good knowledge to have. Okay, just start beating the crap out of him. Just go ham. Hector, not you. I need... Thank you. Sid, please get multiple hits. That's what I want to see. Okay. I am still going to be on edge, guys, because I don't want to have to, like, come back in here. We can't leave. We have to be able to do this on one go. But there's treasures. What do I got to fight for this treasure? Mud golems. Oh, they poison. That's... Unfo and they hit pretty damn hard. Holy crap. Uh, let's do a light cure on Sid. And you know what? Let's try... F I don't have mud golems in this book. Try fire tail. See what happens. Okay, that hit harder than I was expecting. That didn't hit too hard. Okay, that's not bad. Cool. Get a bunch of hits? Wow. Okay, so probably around 200 hit points. Holy crap! Okay, not super useful. I need you to cure too, Sid, and I need you to go first, Sid. Uh, what about lightning? I, I'm hope. Yeah, I'm sure we'll do it. Take that one out. Okay, good. He's dead. 
Could have been worse. Could have gone a lot worse. Okay, not lightning either. So maybe these things just have really good magic defense. And presumably no elemental weakness. Okay, cool. They're poisoned. <laughs> Poor guys. Right, good money, though. The Zeus Gauntlet. Okay, so first things first. Use some of these purists. One for Doug. And one for Hector. Reorganize. Doug, you have a team to lead. No, what am I doing? Uh, and let's get to healing everybody. Doug didn't take too much damage. I'll leave him there, that should be good. Sid needs quite a few of these. Top you off. Axel's okay for right now. Hector can use two of them. Okay. Now, the Zeus Gauntlet. It's not particularly useful for Doug. But Hector... Can you, can you equip it? I don't think you can. You can't equip it, but this is one of the items in the game you can use. And they cast spells and stuff. The Zeus Gauntlet casts, uh... Double check, because I think there's another one. Zomble, you ain't nothing. I, I, I'm not going to use a test out here. And you'll see why. Ow! Hell yeah. Alright, um, Hector's about to get more potion. I wasn't gonna waste it on a zombie, or use it on a zombie when I could do a lot more damage with a much lighter spell. Yeah, you're good now, buddy. You're fine. I think there's one down here. Is this the right one? Okay, now this stopped me, so I want to make sure that's the one I wanted to take. Uh, no, I think I almost took the wrong one. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to, like, read this, and it's very, very light. Now I can do it, though. Show off your Zeus Gauntlet. And, um, I want to hold on to Screw it. We'll try Lightning, too. The Zeus Gauntlet cast Lightning, too, by the way. We might not need to do anything! Not bad. Yeah, cool! Um, hold on, guys. Sorry. I gotta get my phone. I can't see this very good. Darn it. Okay, it's not this one. I mean, I feel like it's supposed to be that one. I feel like we can take them, but should we try? Heck it, we can do this. Use your Zeus Gauntlet. I think I just did... No, I just didn't do very good against them, did it? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, they do have Spitfire. This could be bad. I should have anti-fired. Oh, please stop. Yeah, hit Doug. That's fine. Oh, I messed up. This is doing nothing. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay, cool. One's dead. Can, yeah, can lightning kill something? Not bad. Not great, but not bad either. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay. Okay. That's scary. We're here. We have to do this. Do a heal two on the party. Cast more lightning too. Unless it just kills him. Cool. Gonna have to waste a lot of healing now. But that's okay. Well, 
One second, guys. Healing up real fast. I promise you guys, my haphazard way of doing this is going to be rewarded very soon. I'm gonna trust it. I'm gonna trust the guide. I shouldn't, but I'm trusting the guide. Son of a bitch, I shouldn't have trusted the guide. We're doing okay, though. We can take Medusa's, no problem. Wipe it one. So as long as we go first. Darn it. Well, Doug's about to be behind the party. That sucks. Quite a bit behind the party, too. Oh well, what are we gonna do, I guess? You know, it's annoying, but at least, um, he comes back at the hit points he had. I don't want to fight Medusas again. Also, like, I know these are pillars, but they kind of look like beer mugs to me. It's gotta be you, right? Darn it! No. No. Anti-fire, just in case we can't. And no. It's gotta be this one, right? Yeah. I should've just trusted my instincts from the get. What's here? What wants to fight? Nightmares? I don't know what's good against them, so we're gonna punch them and shoot lightning at them. Oh, I keep forgetting. It's items. Zeus Gauntlet? This is gonna be so silly. Give it to Hector. Or not Hector, Sid. Yeah, step on Doug, he doesn't care. There you go, buddy! Decent damage. Oh my god, why? Alright, you gotta put a nice, uh, no, we'll keep on the cures. You gotta put a nice cure 2 on Sid. And you can do an ice 2. There we go, he's good. Dude, you've gotta hit more than that, it's not... Wow, these things take a lot of damage. Darkness isn't scary. Okay, cool, we know they're weak to ice. Could have saved us a lot of time with that knowledge. Okay, cool. We can go around. And the heal stat. That's that's awesome. Weapon. Trade. Give that heal staff to Hector. Be no, I get... Yeah. No, I, I, I know this is going to sound silly, but right now we're going to give it to Axel. This does a heal one which gives a, a group heal to the entire party. It's not a lot, but you get an item called the Heal Helmet later. And if you get like a fight where it's just one thing, you can just have your group do that if it's gonna be like an easy kill. And it's a good way to like stockpile some health back up, save potions and everything. I've gotta do it. Okay, the gold bracelet. Okay, you've got a silver bracelet. I'm going to give it to Hector, because we need him to stay alive. Yeah, that's much better. Obviously, Axel's important to me. Another ice sword, that's money in the pocket. And an iron gauntlet. We're selling all this crap and we're done. Now, like I said... Do they poison? I know they hit kind of hard.
If they hit. <sighs> yeah, let's do it. Hang on to your heal, too. Or your harm. Yeah. You can throw a nice fire two at him, though. Should deal some damage. Not terrible. Nothing a fire two can't finish off. Good job, buddy. Alright, Axel. There you go. That's how I want to see this done. You know, I know this started off me saying I was going to talk about D&D stories. But I'm honestly finding myself pretty engaged with the game and... Not remembering a whole lot of my D&D stories. But it's also a time in my life I'm well past. Like, I still enjoy it from time to time with my friends. But, like, my heavy D&D years are definitely behind me. Yeah, that... We're good. Because that was, like, from 2008 to, like, 2011, and that was really it for me. Nothing. House. Gold. A lot more gold. Guys... We have so much money. <laughs> it gets ridiculous. We're almost at 200,000. And I'm going to blow a shit ton of that on spells as soon as we do finish what we're doing here. This is it, guys. We found the tail. And I think we have to fight something here. Yup, sure do. Two of them. Cool. Let's do this. I don't know what they do. Uh, they're undead, so they're getting harmed, too. They're zombie dragons. You know what they can't handle? Fire three. Okay, Axel, cool. You just start us off. You just gonna kill them both by yourself? No, not quite. That's okay. Sid will finish it. No, he didn't. He punches the dragon and the jaw starts coming off. He, The dragon bites him back. A nice harm, too, and his flip. He's still standing. What the hell? Just dogpile him now. Do a little baby fire. Yeah! He's like, we're gonna pretend I did that on my first try. That was one of my Axel stories from D&D. Um, I grabbed the tail, right? Yeah. Was I remember having Axel because of like, the old Chappelle show bit. I would have him say, like, what did the five fingers say to the face? Burning hands, because burning hands was a spell that like came out in a cone directly from your fingertips. But alright, we're done with this place. Let's get the hell out of here. How close are we to leveling? Okay, 5,000 for you, and a little, about 4,500 for everybody else. I'm not gonna lie, there's a part of me that wants to go and let the entire party die except for Doug and just go get him 500 experience to catch him up to everybody else. If I can do that off screen, I might. Come on, man. Hello, Catman! I was gonna fight, but I don't have to when I can cast lightning too! Bro, we're gonna go heal up. I don't know what you're weak to. Have a nice tail. You're not as weak to sorta- of You poison? Why? They're allergic to fists, I can see that. The one up top should die now. Never mind. Okay, ice isn't good against them. How about lightning? Sid's okay. Doug's already poisoned, he don't care. Okay, can we finish? Really? Oh, don't hurt Axel. Yeah, yeah, but Cool. Making that progress. Why is it always gotta be dark? The noble fighter can handle many things. If he was a dwarf, he'd be hardy and resistant to toxins, but he is not. Okay. Get to the boat. Damn it. I don't want to fight. You know what? I got, I got things for lightning. Let's do it. Go ahead. Why not? Zeus gone with them. And then you go ahead and just lightning to him. 
Okay, they're not weak against lightning, but the gators should be. Yeah, the gators definitely can't handle the electricity that well. That one did. That one had his tail stuck in the ground. Why is it always... Oh, I forgot to heal Sid. Why is it always Sid? You know what, Sid? You can just hang out with Doug in the back with lowered uh, H uh, experience now. I almost got what I wanted out of this. Oh, now Sid's... Oh, for the love of God. Okay. Yeah, 32... 28, 39, well, wake him up, he's fine, they're good, oh, not what I wanted, sorry guys, hold on, climb up the ladder, my friend, the ladder of party members. Okay, so, um, we're gonna take a little detour. Where are we? We're right there. I mean, I could do- I need the airship anyway, so yeah, let's just... Okay. I'm gonna go get the airship. Just go get the airship. Where are we? Are we close? Sort of. No, leave me alone. Certainly not. No, just run. Just get away from him. Well, you know what? To be fair, I made it through the Cave of Ordeals. Before I started losing party members and experience got screwed up. So, you know what? I'm gonna call that a victory. Come on, hurry. We can make it. We just... Why? No, Sahagin. Oh! On my way back to, um, Corneria a little bit ago, because I went to Corneria to heal when I was, like, getting everything around because it only cost 30 and I had the airship, so why not, which is what we're going to do here in a minute anyway. I was, like, um, I ran, I, I was trying to, like, because I was so close to getting that level up before I started recording to this, I'm like, don't do any fights, if I'm going to get a level up, I want, like, the watch, the viewers to get to see it. And I discovered that, uh, fighting a Kizoku, a lone Kizoku, he ran away from me. You get one experience and zero gold. I was unaware that could happen in this game. Yes, yes, yes. Goodbye, ship. I don't think I'll ever need you again. You were loyal. I hope Vicky's fine knowing he's stranded and we don't even care about his ship anymore. I'm just kidding. I love you, ship. You were very valuable and there's a good chance I'm going to need it again. And we're not going to Crescent Lake. We're going to go home real fast to Court. Well, I don't know. They're from Corn area. We're going to pretend they are. So for some reason, all the orbs that were depowered were in Corneria. Uh, we got a ways. Hold on. Yeah. Just follow, follow the land masses, I guess. I can do that. That works. I'm above it now, aren't I? Yep, I missed it. Sorry, guys. Going back. Oh, yeah, there's the bridge right there. I'm stupid. Can, can I land here? Can't land in the city walls. I, I mean, I get it. Alright, let's do this. We need to find the Dragon King. Alright, it's not that far from where I am. So, one, two, three, four, five, I can go. Find the archipelago. Uh, not that one, not that one, this one. Damn it, I keep forgetting. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. We return to Bahamut. And this video is going to go just about as long as I wanted it to. Pretty pleased with that. We're Bahamut, we need to speak to you. 
we finished the uh, cave of or the castle of ordeals. I'm not sure if I can remember the voice I gave Bahamut. Hold on. The tale of, the ra of a rat proves your courage. I shall give you the honor to true warriors. Boom! He looks very, he's different, but not as different. And with that, we get upgraded. Doug is no longer a fighter, he is a knight. You don't see any of his changes yet. They, they happen with level ups. Doug will be able to cast white magic. Sid is a master. And with Hector, now a white wizard, and Axel, a black wizard. And with that, we can go get the spells we were missing. Also, I guess with that level up, we're able to cast level uh, six magic, did that say now? Yep. But all right, guys, I am going to uh, hop in the airship. I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff off screen that is not gonna be important to you guys. I'm gonna go pick up some spells and all that and sell off some crap we don't really need anymore. And the next time you see me, I will be ready to go tackle the fire dungeon. So that is gonna be all for this part. Thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time.